Hello again. Uh, it's been a long time since I last made uh, a video, so uh, here's a update. Uh, first update from uh, my purchases of uh, 2014. Uh, so uh, I'll start with the CDs. Uh, the first purchase of the year was uh, Manic Street Preachers. And this is my tell, truth, tell me yours. Uh, this is one of those bands that uh, over the last several years I've uh, been getting into more and more. And uh, this one was a great album, just like all the others that I have bought so far. Um, Derringer. This one includes the uh, first two albums by the band Derringer. Uh, the self-titled album and uh, Sweet Evil. This is very nice. Uh, hard uh, 70s rock music. Um, to the other end of the spectrum, Rumor, Seasons of My Soul. Uh, this one is a very mellow, uh, smooth music. Uh, I was actually very happy to discover that uh, Rumor herself uh, writes most of her material. DAD. Disneyland After Dark a Deluxe ed Edition. Uh, this uh, bonus CD includes a uh, few uh, acoustic uh, versions and uh, several uh, live versions. Uh, I especially like those uh, acoustic versions and I did like the um, live uh, recordings also, but I have to say that uh, in between uh, songs and sometimes during the songs, uh, hearing uh, the vocalist uh, speaking uh, uh, Danish uh, sounds uh, very odd in my ears, but I suppose that's uh, that's the thing with uh, more or less every foreigner. Um, Fleetwood Mac, then play on. Uh, this is the remastered version with bonus tracks. Uh, this is actually the third version of this album that I uh, that I've had and uh, every one of them has um, has come with a different uh, track list uh, very good album but not my favorite by uh, Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac uh, I know it's uh, often uh, said that it, this one is the best but uh, I don't think so Jeff Beck blow by blow uh, I've had the Wired album uh, for, I don't know, 20 years, maybe even more. And I've always thought of buying this, but it's always just um, passed me by. And uh, Now I finally bought this and I'm really pleased that I did. I like this one better than I do the Wired album. <sighs> Dave Edmunds, Subtle as a Flying Mallet. Um, this is one of those cases where, where I'm especially pleased that it comes with a booklet uh, where it tells the story of making of this album. Because uh, when I started listening to this, I was actually somewhat disappointed. Uh, but uh, reading the story of the making of this album uh, gave it um, a much better insight into the album and gave me sort of a perspective to it. Uh, so. Uh, now I like this, like this more. Uh, I still don't think that this is as good as uh, the Rock Pile album, but uh, it's a it's a nice album, let's say that way. Um, Uncle Tupelo, No Depression. Uh, this is the, the double CD version. Um, uh, I actually only knew of them. Uh, I had I had never heard of them. Uh, but I, I was checking uh, the the Vilco's AM album somewhere, and uh, I always knew that uh, uh, Wilco was born after the demise of uh, Uncle Tupelo. So I just uh, listened to one song on uh, YouTube from this and decided to buy this. And uh, first time I went to the record store, I found this and bought it straight away. Uh, it's much more uh, of a rock album than uh, alternative country, as I was uh, expecting. But uh, it turned out to be a very nice album. Uh, second, uh, second disc includes all the demo material that they did before this album. So, uh, a very good package. 
Chris Isaac, Live at the Fillmore. Um, he's a stage persona, he's uh, quite different, uh, I would say much more humorous than uh, his uh, albums uh, let you believe. So I was very happy to get this. Um, and I also bought, also got Always Got Tonight. Um, so it's a nice contrast uh, listening to these. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> I was going to say back to back, but I don't listen to the <laughs> same artist records back to back. So let's say uh, on a following days. And uh, this one was very, very nice uh, find. Linda Ronstadt and Anne Savoy, Adia False Heart. Um, I have been looking for this uh, for several years, uh, and I have had. I have come across this uh, several times, but always on full price. So now that I finally found this cheaper, uh, 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 I immediately grabbed it. Um, uh, I believe this is uh, the last album that Linda Ronstadt ever made uh, since uh, she's uh, retired from, music, from uh, the music business now. Um, very nice record, uh, but uh, you should know that this uh, uh, is uh, slightly a, a mixed bag uh, of uh, styles. Viikate, kuukaako nylle. I had heur heard of this band uh, many, many years ago, and uh, several years ago uh, I went to see them because uh, they, the music sounded interesting. But uh, when I went to see them live, uh, unfortunately, it didn't really click with me, so I didn't buy any of their records uh, or go to see them live anymore. Uh, but over the years I have heard uh, a lot of their songs on the radio and uh, it's uh, sort of grown on me. And uh, last Christmas I decided to give them another chance and went to see them live. And this time it really clicked with me. So uh, I decided that it was time to buy uh, my first album from them. And uh, this one is uh, one of their more recent uh, not the most recent, but I believe uh, the second to last, uh, I'm not sure. But this one is uh, actually a really good album. And Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac. Uh, these uh, Blue Horizon remasters, uh, I've been thinking about buying them. That, and now that I finally bought uh, them play on, I decided that it was time to buy the first album also. Uh, because uh, the bonus tracks here seemed uh, uh, more uh, interesting than uh, those on uh, Mr. Wonderful. But I don't doubt that some, uh, sometime uh, later I will also buy the Mr. Wonderful album. <sighs> okay, uh, that's it for this year's uh, CDs for now. Uh, I will uh, later do another uh, update video um, uh, about the vinyls that I have bought this year. Thanks. Bye.